Hello, and welcome to this DAO Studio update. In this clip, I'm going to show you one of our new upcoming features that will get you started on your next epic scene. So for this, let's go to File, New. And this is it right here, the new scene dialog box. At the top left-hand corner, you'll see three tabs, Templates, Recent, and Favorites. We'll get into these other two later, but for now, let's stay on Templates. And as you can see here in the main screen, these are the uh, templates you can choose from. So you can do just a normal new scene, or you can choose from one of these uh, other curated selection that we've created for you from backgrounds to dimensions to depth of field for a full body or portrait uh, to ground reflections, light presets, animation presets, uh, character and pose presets, as well as render quality presets. So a lot of stuff for you to choose from here that can really create a cool scene that I'll show you in a moment here once we get through the rest of this and we'll build the scene together. On the right hand side, you see our notification bar. Uh, right now, this is showing us that Death 9 has just come out. This will show you new products that are coming out, as well as educational programs and other such things like tutorials, masterclass, and so on. And along the bottom here, you'll see our store icon. And this is going to start off with some free products. So, as you can see from these first five, they have this Daz Light. Uh, logo at the top left hand corner. That's telling you that these are a light product of one of our powerful products that we have inside of Daz Studio that you can buy from the store for various things like HDRIs, render presets, poses, and so on. We also have a full environment here for you. So I've been creating some Halloween products. So that's why I have some creepy stuff here. Also environments, characters, poses, modifications, and otherwise. The next tab is recent. So recent shows you the things that I've used recently. So I've been playing around with this new scene dialog box and figuring out how it all works and how it works together. And uh, so these are my recent products. Lastly is our favorites tab. So these are some of the things that I've gone through and I've favorited inside of my own data studio library. So I have Angela nine, um, as well as some base clothing assets. So why don't we make something with this real quick here and show you how it works. So first things first, we're going to have a new scene. I'm going to hold down control and select the black background. We'll make it 2048 by 2048. We'll make the ground highly reflective along with a three point red and blue light. We'll make the render quality high and let's use a superhero flying pose. So now I've selected all those. I'm just going to click create and Dan studio is going to do the magic behind the scenes, creating the new scene for me with all the things that I selected. So I'll make sure that my background is black. It'll change my render settings to be 2048 by 2048 in high quality. It'll incorporate the lights into my scene, bring a Jen Stein figure and have them posed. So here it is. I'm currently in perspective view. So I'm going to change that to camera view. This is a camera that comes with this character in pose. And if you look at my scene tab, there's the light control rig right there. So if I make sure I have my rotation tool selected and I have my light selected in my scene, I can grab this axis here, which is my Y axis, and I can rotate those lights around my figure. So I can rotate them slightly. Now I have some red hue on the figure's left side of their body, or I can rotate around to the other side of the body. Now it's blue here and red on the other side. So I can play around with this X, Y, or Z axis. And since I already have a Genesis figure in my scene, I can select them in my scene tab. And actually, why don't we do this? We'll go back and hit Control N. I'll go to my Favorites tab. And let's put some clothing on. So I'll select both of those, right click, and I'll merge that into my scene. And just like that, Genesis 9 is now wearing the clothing. But I also want to make this character. So let's do the same thing here. Let's right click on our Angela 9, and we'll say merge that into our scene. We get this uh, dialog box that actually comes up saying, what do we want to do with that? Load a new figure in the scene, which will put a secondary figure in, or it can apply this character to the currently selected one. So because we selected the Genesis 9 ahead of time, I can just turn that Genesis 9 into Angelo 9. So we're going to accept that, and it will do its magic yet again, and turn our base Genesis 9 into Angela 9 with all the same presets, render settings, and clothing that's already been applied. There you are. And through the magic of editing, you can now see that we have Angela 9 in our scene that we created through the new scene dialog. And we can now rotate our lights around Angela 9, get her lit just the way that we want. And there we go. I hope you find this update 
uh, informative and we look forward to seeing what you guys can come up with.